Good evening. Welcome to Jeevan News at 8. I am Anshika Sharma. Let's look at the top stories first. 1129 police personnel accused in criminal cases reveals RTI documents. 215 accused police officers from state capital. Microfinance scam High Court asked to continue probe against Vellapalli against Ignore Vigilance FIR says court. Harrison case High Court asks government to stop land retrieval. Lawmaking will be considered, says Revenue Minister. Government comprising with case alleged. 257 died at Algeria plane crash accident occurred near military transport area. Investigation started, says government. Commonwealth Games 12 gold for India shooter Shreyasi Singh won double trap gold box Americom in final. Now news in detail. Our response to a Right to Information Act query has revealed that 1,129 police personnel in the state are accused in criminal cases. As per the list, 215 police personnel are working in the state capital. The High Court in 2012 had asked for the preparation of a list of policemen in the Kerala police who are accused in criminal cases. On this basis, a committee was formed headed by an AGDP rank officer. The list has been released after the formation of the committee. The police department had earlier taken the stand that a response cannot be given to RTI query. However, the list was released later. As per the list, the largest number of policemen involved in criminal cases are working in Tiruvananthapuram. Criminal cases exist against 215 policemen in Tiruvananthapuram, 10 DYSPs and 46 CIs in state police are accused in criminal cases. 230 policemen in the rank of SI and ASI are accused in criminal cases. Dowry abuse, bribery, harming complaints, custody death have been considered in the preparation of the list. The policemen mentioned in the list are involved in such cases. Adequate departmental action has not been initiated against the accused policemen. Hence, a majority of those in the list are still in the police force, the RTI document says. Jeevan Desk, Tiruvananthapuram. An 11-year-old blood cancer patient who tested HIV positive allegedly after blood transfusion of the regional cancer center in Tiruvananthapuram has died. She died of pneumonia at Vandanam Medical College Hospital in Alapura on Wednesday. After the girl was tested HIV positive, she was undergoing treatment at the Alapura Hospital for the past 13 months. The girl was being treated at the Alapura Medical College Hospital from where she was referred to the RCC in Kerala capital of further treatment. Noticing swelling in one of her eyes, doctor at the RCC Institute had carried out various tests including a blood test which revealed that the girl was HIV positive. The police said the RCC authorities said the girl had approached them with the report of a blood test conducted in external laboratories. The girl's father had alleged that she contracted the dreaded illness from a blood transfusion at the RCC. The state human rights panel had also ordered a high-level inquiry into the matter. The girl's blood samples were then sent to New Delhi to confirm how she contracted HIV. Delhi no report was done. That is an anomaly. October month, so Anjani Devi, I am going to Chennai. Come to this. This third month, so I. This one, you Delhi. You take this as well. No, I am report. What is it? R C C doctor. It is a criminal. Chinda body. All doctor. My reason is that the doctor is not found. Then, after that, the child's blood was found. That one 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 was found. Jeevan. The government cannot act like Robin Hood, the Kerala High Court has asserted, as it cancelled the acquisition of nearly 40,000 acres of land under the conservancy rules in 2013. The law should not be violated for a populist measure, the court reminded the government. A division bench of the Kerala High Court Wednesday stopped a Resumption of Harrison Malayalam Plantation's land giving a severe blow to the state government. A division bench led by the Chief Justice, who ordered to stop immediately the retrieval of land, pointed that the existence of major companies is needed. The High Court cancelled the report of MG Rajamanikyam appointed Special Officer for retrieving the land. The verdict is following the plea of the Harrisons. The division bench has also rejected the pleas questioning the ownership of Harrison's land. The government had taken over three estates of Harrison's on May 28, 2015. 
5,170 acres of land including RIA resorts and, and properties in Kollam owned and sold by Harrison Malayalam Plantations, Kollam Chavinku Rubber and Tea Limited, Cheruvalli Estate in Kotiam were taken over as per the Kerala Land Conservation Act. Preacher K.P. Yohanan brought Cheruvalli Estate for Gospel or Asia. The government had taken over 29,185 acres from Harrison in December 2014. News Desk, Jeevan. <laughs> Explaining the decisions taken in the meeting, Minister G. Sudhakaran said that the issue will be considered as a special case and a re-examination will be held. The survey procedures will continue. Compensation will be given to landowners who had to give up their lands. The land will also be measured before that. Though the land was acquired as per 1956 Act, the price of the land will be decided as per 2013 Act. The district collector will decide on the compensation to be paid and landowners will be informed about it. The National Highway Authority have been asked to choose the best alignment so that minimum buildings, houses, temples, churches and mosques get affected. The government aim is to minimize the inconvenience caused to the public and reduce the loss to the government. The government wish to carry out the national highway development works from Kasargo to Kalyavika Villa without any hindrance, he said. News Desk, Jeevan. In a major development in the controversial murder of former radio jockey Rajesh, police officials recovered the weapons used to hack Rajesh to death. The official found the weapons in an inspection carried out in the presence of key accused Ali Bhai. Weapons were recovered by the diving team from the Coast Guard and the local drivers from the league were pulled in the river under the Kanetanity Bridge at Kolam Wednesday. The police have conducted search based on the information provided by the apparent murders Salil bin Jalal, a Kali by the prime accused in the third accused Tensi who was also present at the site during the search. The accused had earlier told the police that they had abandoned two weapons at the murder site and thrown other two along the way with Tensi's blood-stained clothes into the river. Alibai was taken into custody by the police from Tiruvannandapuram airport. Alibai told to the police that the reason for the murder is Satas Evan Jensei against the Rajas for destroying his family life. Rajas sought and received money from the dance teacher also several times. Alibai told the police that issue connected with the return of money and destroying of the Satal family led to the quotation. After the murder, weapons were abandoned at the Kollam and the Karunagapalli regions. Police have taken Alibai to these places to collect the evidence. News Desk, Jeevan. CPM leadership in Kannur is all set to deal with the Kira tour agitation against NH expansion with a new strategy. The party has decided to take back 11 members expelled from CPM for involvement in the protest under the action council called Vayalikalam. It is reported that the CPM took the decision in the emergency meeting held at Taliparamba on Tuesday. CPM Kannur District Secretary P. J. Rajan has initiated the action. In connection with the move, the party leaders have visited the expelled party activists at their residence. They visited President Rajesh and M. Balan who were expelled from CPM for participating in Vial Kili education. CPM leaders asked them to quit from taking part in the protest. They asked this wild killy girl to give a written statement by declaring their non-cooperation to the protest. But they refused to give the written statement, said wild killy agitation leader Suresh Kirato. Wild killy girl ke yaad aur aashingi mila. Wild killy girl ipor naratonda samaru. Eni angotur naratonda samaru iduai yaad yaad aur tarathil banda porna sambhavay alla ande dani ana parayi lagu. Wild killy oru samar samudhi aana. Party lende porata kapata angangalum. 
പക്ഷെ പാർട്ടിയിൽ നിന്ന് പുറത്താക്കപ്പെട്ട അംഗങ്ങളോട് പാർട്ടിക്ക് സംസാരിക്കണം എന്ന് ജില്ലാ സെക്രട്ടറിക്കോ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഏരിയ സെക്രട്ടറിക്കോ സംസാരിക്കുന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ അത് ആ പാർട്ടിയുടെ ആഭ്യന്തര കാര്യം മാത്രമായിട്ടേ വാൽക്കളി കാണുന്നുള്ളൂ ഡിസ്ട്രിക്ട് സെക്രട്ടറി പി ജയരാജൻ ഡിസ്ട്രിക്ട് കമ്മിറ്റി മെമ്പർ സന്തോഷൻ എം മുകുന്ദൻ വിസിറ്റഡ് എക്സ്പെൽഡ് സി പി എം മെമ്പേഴ്സ് ഹൂ ആർ ഓൾസോ ഇൻവോൾവ് ഇൻ ദി പ്രോട്ടസ്റ്റ് Later, the protests turned a strong movement in Kerala. Rather than a local issue, it became a big issue in the state. The environmental activists reached here to support the protests and BJP used the situation to hijack the protests. It forced the CPM to find an alternative method to defend the protest. News Desk, Jeevan. An Algerian military transport plane crashed Wednesday just after taking off from an air base south of the capital, Algeria, killing 257 people according to a statement from the Ministry of Defence. The Russian-built Elysium IL-76 was headed to southwestern city of Baker when it crashed just outside the Bafrek military base in a farm field. The dead included soldiers and family members. The military added that General Jade Salah, head of the army, had gone to the site and ordered an investigation into the crash. Television images showed black smoke blowing from the crash site, some 20 miles south of El Gris on the way to the city of Blida. Rescue personnel moved around the shattered plane. Later, images showed plane split in half with the back part of the fuelage intact and tail sticking out of the field. Most of the front of the plane appeared destroyed. The plane was scheduled to stop in the remote town of Tindal along the Moroccan border, the site of the sprawling refugee camps for Western Saharans who have fled their decades-old conflict with Morocco. Jamil Aul Abi, Secretary General of the ruling FLN party, told Anahar Television that 26 of the dead were members of the Polisario. the army group fighting Morocco's control over the Western Sahara region. Algeria backs the Polisario, which is seeking the independence of the Western Sahara. The Illusion IL-76 was first built in the 1970s and used as a transport plane, often in drugged underdeveloped parts of the world. It has the ability to use unpaved runways. International Desk, Jeevan. Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg during his congressional Hearing on Tuesday said he wants to ensure protection of integrity of elections, mentioning that he knows the importance of the upcoming polls in countries including India, Hungary and Brazil. He accepted personal responsibilities Tuesday for the leak of data in the tens of millions of its users while warning of an arms race. against Russian disinformation during a high-stakes hearing with U.S. lawmakers. In the first normal congressional appearance, the Facebook founder and the chief executive answered question for the yearly five hours as he sought to quell to storm over privacy and the security lapses at the social media. gain that have earned the lawmakers and the network's 2 million users. It was my mistake and I'm sorry, Sukhubar said about the improper sharing of 87 million people information by Cambridge Analytica, a firm working for Donald Trump during 2016 presidential campaign. The 33-year-old CEO spoke to a concern struggle to guard against Russian manipulation of the Facebook platform to influence election in the U.S. and the elsewhere. Zuckerberg faced a joint hearing of the Senate Judiciary and the Commerce Committee. Zuckerberg testified before the Senators and the House panel admitted firms from over the alleged hijacking of the data of millions of Facebook users by British firm Cambridge Analytica. International Desk, Jeevan. A three-judge bench of the Supreme Court on Wednesday has rejected a plea of frame-fresh guidelines on the allocation of cases in the top court. The bench said the Chief Justice of India is the first among equals and has the authority to decide allocation of cases and setting up of benches. The plea was filed after four top judges held an unprecedented press conference in January saying things were not in order in the Apex Court Administration. They had attacked the Chief Justice's discretionary power in assigning cases and constituting benches. The judges said the Chief Justice was the highest authority in this matter, an institution in himself, and that such a plea was scandalous. The petition was heard by Chief Justice Deepak Mishra, Justice A.M. Kualkar, and Justice D.Y. Chandrachud. Lawyer Ashok Pantel has filed the petition soon after the judges' press conference in January. His petition said, Unfreated power is being exercised by the Chief Justice in the matter of formation of benches and so the same is liable to the regulated through specific rules. The petition also said three judges' benches in the Chief Justice Court should include the two senior most after him. 
It is also prayed that the Constitution bench should have the five senior most judges, that is the CJ, Justice Chalameshwar, Ranjan Gogoi, Madan Bilokur, and Korean Joseph. The last four judges have spoken to the media in January, reportedly angry that a case that sowed probe into the death of CBI judge B.H. Lawyer was assigned to a judge who was number 10 in the apex court hierarchy. News Desk, Jeevan. U.S. President Donald Trump on Monday labeled the suspected chemical attack in Syria's Doma as barbaric act, stating he will determine in a day or two time on whether to retaliate with the military action like he did to a similar attack back in 2017 or not. President Donald Trump said Monday he will make a decision as earlier in the evening on the U.S. response to what he called an atrocious chemical weapon attack on civilians in Syria and warned that he will told to hold the responsibility parties accountable. President Russia's role in the suspected chemical weapon attack, Trump said Russian President Vladimir Putin, who backed the Syrian regime, may be a responsibility. Trump commented to the public remark on the attack, which killed dozens of civilians since he tweeted about it Sunday and warned a big price to pay for the responsible. He stated comes almost exactly if a year after he fired 59 Tomahawk missiles at the Syrian airbase in the response to chemical weapon attack against civilians. Trump said that U.S. is still working to determine who is directly responsible for the attack, which was widely published in the recent day after the graphic on the ground. Footage of victims was shown around the world. Trump said his decision could come as an early at the end of the Monday within the next 48 hours. International Desk, Chivan. The Kerala High Court said Wednesday that SNDP General Secretary Vella Perry should face probe in the microfinance cheating case. The court said that the FIR registered against Vella Perry in addition in the case cannot be quashed. The court has acquitted former backward class development corporation officer MD Najib. The court said that the case should be entrusted to IPS officers who have a good track record and directed the probe against the accusing including Vellapalli Nadation should be completed within eight months. The court rejected Vellapalli Nadation's demand to quash the FIR against him in the case. The High Court has made its stand clear after a detailed examination of the document related to the microfinance cheating case. The court the other day had clarified that a case exists prima facie and hence it should be probed. The court has severely criticized the investigation conducted by the vigilance in the case. The, the court has also expressed dissatisfaction over the stand taken by the investigation official. The case was filed on a complaint among the others by Achudandan accusing Nadeshan of siphoning off the fund from microfinance ventures. Achudandan had contended that SNDP had availed 15 crore loan from the Kerala State Backward Class of Development Corporation at an interest rate of 2% and had charged 12% interest from the beneficiaries. News desk, Jeevan. Fears mount over the safety of a missing Keralite family who were on a road trip in the U.S. state of California. After an SUV matching, their vehicle was be believed to be swept away by a swollen river. The Totopili family from Kerala went missing on Thursday while traveling from Portland to St. Joe's. The search continues for a maroon Honda pilot that went down an embankment on Friday around 1.10 p.m. on Highway 101 near Dora Creek, about five miles north to Leggett, according to the California Highway Patrol. The vehicle is the same kind that the Totopili family, 42-year-old Sandeep, 38-year-old Somia, 12-year-old Siddhant and 9-year-old Sachi were driving on a road trip from Portland, Oregon, back to their home in the Southern California city of Valencia, with a planned stop to see relatives in San Jose, the Mercury News reported. A notice posted on Facebook stated that relatives last heard from the family on Thursday and reported them missing over the weekend after they did not show up their planned Friday visit. The St. Jose Police Department confirmed that a missing person report was filed on Sunday involving the Todapilly family. Their last known location was the Redwood National and State Park area roughly 80 km north of Eureka. Based on our preliminary investigation and witness statements, we believe the vehicle was a 2016 and 2017 Honda Pilot maroon in color, Wonderlich told the news outlet. News Desk, Jeevan. A Patali Makkal Kutch functionary who climbed on top of a train during a protest as part of a bunt over the Kaveri water issue suffered electric shock when he came in contact with the high-tension cable at railway station 
Wednesday morning. Scores of PMK workers led by Party General Secretary Vadivel Ravanan blocked the Guruvayur Express train when it reached Dindivanam railway station from Chennai. Dindivanam town vice president of the party, Rajni Kumar, and few others climbed atop the train and raised a slogan. Ranjit came in contact with the high tension cable and the suffered electric shock. He has thrown off the train due to the impact of the shock. Party cadres and others rescued him, rushed into Jawaharlal Institute of Postgraduate Medical Education and Research in Puducherry. Ranjit had suffered 70% burn injury, a doctor treated him, said. National Desk, Jeevan. Agro Machinery Private Limited earned well profit in this through market. The private company has earned 48 crore profit comparing last year was informed Balachandra at Kochi press conference. Chinese company which started before 34 years under agriculture department every year they are getting good profit from market actor bharat and playback singer shivani inaugurated the greenery architecture room of famous interior designer sham in talasheri actress durga krishna inaugurated the material launch and actress anusitara inaugurated the virtual reality technology Sports Commonwealth Games Here is the current medal count on the present day of 21st edition of the 2018 Commonwealth Games in Australia's Gold Coast on Wednesday. Australia continues to dominate the tally with 52 gold, 39 silver and 42 bronze medals, followed by England with 24 gold, 30 silver and 21 bronze medals. With 12 gold, 4 silver and 8 bronze so far, India are currently third in overall ranking. Shooter Ankur Mittal on Wednesday clinched a bronze in the men's double trap event, taking India's total tally to 24. Earlier, Shreyasi Singh backed a gold, India's 12th overall, in the women's double trap event at 21st edition of 2018 Commonwealth Games here. Earlier, shooter Om Pragash finished third to settle for a bronze medal in men's 50-meter pistol event. With one gold and two bronze on day seven, India's total medal count currently stands at 24. New Zealand, South Africa and Canada are the fourth, fifth and sixth positions respectively, though they have won more medals. These countries have got lesser number of gold medals than India. On Tuesday, Indian shooter Hina Sidhu clinched a gold 11th for India in 25-meter pistol event. Sidhu also broke the Commonwealth Games record on her way to clinching a gold in the women's 25-meter shooting event here. Sports Desk, Jeevan. <laughs> Starting from a crushed defeat of the hands of Sunrisers Hyderabad in their opening fixture, Rajasthan Royals look to seek home comfort and register a win when they take on Delhi Daredevils, who lost against King Eleven Punjab in an Indian Premier League clash on Wednesday. Before we wind up headlines once again. 1129 police personnel accused in criminal cases reveals RTI documents. 215 accused police officers from state capital. Microfinance scam High Court asked to continue probe against Vellapalli against ignore vigilance FIR says court. Harrison case High Court asked government to stop land retrieval. Lawmaking will be considered says revenue minister. Government comprising with case alleged. 257 died at Algeria plane crash accident occurred near military transport area. Investigation started, says government.
Commonwealth Games 12 gold for India shooter Shreyasi Singh won double tap gold box Americom in final. That's all for today English news edition. Thank you for watching and good night.